likely is to think past profit, convenience, and selfish wants, and consider how your choices will affect at least seven generations beyond yourself. I personally experienced a pretty bad bout of heat exhaustion, heat rash last year. Um, it was about June. Uh, it was during online classes and I just remember feeling really panicked, um, never having known that it existed. I recently was diagnosed with a degenerative disease called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and one of my symptoms is um, I'm actually allergic to <laughs> temperature change, which basically means that if it's too hot or too cold, I'll get hives. Being a plaintiff has given me the opportunity to hear and connect from other youth across Hawaii who are already experiencing climate change in their communities. It has been a really powerful thing. It's kind of like a reckoning, you know? You think that there are all these power dynamics and then you're told, you know, actually you do have a bit of power in this situation and there are people that believe in you. I think that one of the most common misconceptions that we've been seeing as far as a lawsuit goes is that number one, we are suing for monetary compensation. Whereas really we're not, we're suing for accountability and making sure that the state pulls through with their plan um, and on their timeline. I think something that may be hard for someone to understand is the fact that a bunch of youth are suing the state. The youth are already seeing a great change in our environment and we have to act on this as fast as possible. I would just encourage anyone who desires to preserve a safe, healthy planet to just get in touch with their leaders, to raise awareness within their community of the dangers the climate crisis poses. Any way in which you can show solidarity with our cause makes a difference. I know that in every state in the United States, in every country in the world, there are people with the same goals as me. So it really brings me a lot of hope and joy to get to reach out to them, to get to communicate. Enough is enough. For 50 years, you, the elected leader, have decided that the financial benefits of ignoring the threat of climate disaster were more advantageous than the future of the people you represent. I would just speak with my state governor and I would tell him that we know what's been going on for the past couple of decades. When you took on this position in office, you knew that you would have to take responsibility for decades worth of mistakes. One thing you will often hear me telling our leaders is to please be mindful of the world they're leaving behind for us.